after we finish all setting all of these constraints we come back to one of the most really annoyable problems which is why we are constraining or and setting all of these constraints the first sets that every city need to be uh, need to be visited only once and the second of all uh, the cities uh, need to be uh, connected uh, also once or from the proceeding point of it there are some subtours are forming from all of this these subtours uh, it, form, it forms like this like if the travel sales of Robin go from 1 to 2 and from 2 to 6 he, he also every point we, the, the, the two constraints are satisfied but, uh, but look here 1 is visit, uh, 2 is visited only once from 1 and every point is connected to the preceding points that there is a subtour inside the whole tour. We are not allowing subtours to happen because if subtours happens, the, the concept of minimizing the distance cannot be applied. So by how could we prevent those subtours from happening? We have to eliminate them. So we have we have to notice that by uh, any subtours has uh, links equal to the number of points uh, to uh, to prevent subtours from forming we can impose a restriction that any group of two points should not have more than one link and of course we have to proceed until the fifth point because all the cities in the map as you as you see in the previous slide just six cities so we cannot let Two cities, the two cities only must have uh, one uh, tour. If it is three cities, uh, only uh, must have two uh, uh, two links. If it is uh, four cities, have only three links. If any group of uh, five points, any group of five points, it could be one, two, three, four, and five. One, six, two, three, four. One, three, four, five, and six. Any group of five points should not have more than four links, but we can allow only the tour that we want, which is the six points or the six cities that is need to links in uh, six links. So how could we program such a things? As you see here, so we can just write between x one two and x two one, which is the two points and this is the travel, the distance from 1 to 2 and the distance from 2 to 1 we can't just allow uh, to have uh, sub tours between them so we uh, have to say it's less than or equal 1 meaning of that either less than 1 that never have a uh, distance or only one link between them those goes for any two points so we are discussing here all the possibilities of the six cities. So just imagine if we have a country just like USA who have maybe more than 100 city, how many constraints uh, we have to enter into the programming to find the uh, best or the optimal route for the salesman. These for three nodes, so distance from one to two and distance from two to six and distance from one to six those are three nodes and this is the distance between them they are just allowed to have two links or this and this will will go uh, to all of the uh, as you see uh, this will all go to all of the nodes this is for the four nodes and for the five nodes finally as a summary you see this is all the constraint we discuss it for so for sh uh, assuring that the program will understand how the path of all the uh, salesmen the the path that the salesmen have to go uh, and uh, go around and distribute all of his uh, things and come back to the same points we have to show that the minimizing uh, the objective function is minimizing the distance uh, we, uh, as we said, we multiply the distance by the decision variables connected between the cities and the points, and we have to set three uh, kind of constraints. First one, that is the point are allowed to visit it 
uh, once and every point is allowed to visit it from the pre uh, preceding points and when we allow this constraint another problem uh, arise which is we are not uh, allowing to have subtours between two uh, points or three points or four points in the case of this examples the only uh, maximum points happening is six points so we are not allowing two points to have a subtools or three points to have a subtools or four or five we are not just allowing six to found our path or rows so this is the final uh, constraints and the summation of all the constraints and this is the decision variable uh, between zero and one if we really have to be sure that we uh, programs uh, travel salesman problem uh, and give it to the program in those uh, in those formats it will uh, process it and maybe it takes uh, some uh, times to process it for a big uh, country like uh, USA who have more than 100 uh, cities to find the optimal route or path that a travel salesman have to go uh, by to distribute all of his uh, suppliers product and come back to his original city thank you for listening and uh, i hope that i give you uh, a good uh, example about this uh, very important uh, problem in travel salesman problem and operation research thank you very much